Hello friends, in this video I'll show you how to create basic augmented reality app using Android Studio. So let's start. Give a name to your app. Change location if you want. Make sure API level is API 24, Android 7 or above. Click on finish. And Android Studio version should also be 3.1 or higher than that for adding augmented reality. Now click on file, go to settings. Go to plugins. Search for Google Cineform tools. It will help you in importing 3D models and view your 3D models. Just install it. Now we will have to restart our Android Studio. After restarting, go to build.gradle of app to add Sceneform UX library. And this Sceneform plugin to help you to import different 3D models. Adding compile option to support Java which is required for Sceneform library. Go to projects build.gradle. Add the Sceneform Gradle plugin if it's not there. Now go to android manifest.xml file to add permissions. Requires air feature in our app. Also requires camera permission. Add metadata as our app requires Google Play services for AR. Now go to this layout file, change it to relatable layout. Add this fragment which is provided by our Sceneform UX library which we added in build.gradle. Before writing any code, first of all download your model. Go to poly.google.com Search for the model you want to add After selecting, click on download obj file After downloading, you have to extract it. Just copy these two files. Now we need to paste it. Right click on app folder. Click on new sample data directory. Or else just go to your project folder. Go to app folder, create a folder with name sample data and paste the obj and mtl file here. Go to rest folder, click on new, under folder options select raw resources folder. Click finish.
Now right click on OBJ file, click import scene form asset. We are getting this error because our obj file name is in uppercase letter. So right click, refactor, rename, lowercase w, click refactor. Click here, click rest folder, click on raw folder. Click OK. Click Finish. Now .sfb file got generated and we are able to see the 3D model. Now close this. So let's write our code. Create a variable for AR fragment and model renderable. Initialize the fragment. I mean get the fragment using the ID which is named fragment here. To make it simple, I've divided it into three methods. Let's create the first method called setup model. In this method, we will create a renderable in which model and related resources will get loaded in the background. For set source, we are passing our SFB model here, which is r.raw.wolf. And the result is received in the then accept method. And this is to display error message if any error occurs. Now let's add another method called set up plane. Now this method set on tap listener is used to check if the user has tapped on the detected scene, then it returns us hit result. Using this, we will be able to attach our model to a custom node. From here, we are calling the third method create model. In this method, finally, we will write the code to add the node to the model renderable which we created above in the first method. So finally we can say we have initialized the fragment, then loaded a model, then attached the scene to the node. Now we are done. Let's run this app. 
allow this permission when you find a plane and tapped on the screen you will see your 3d model here similarly you can try out different models in your app like these If you like this video please let me know in the comment section thanks for watching this video and don't forget to like share and subscribe for more videos thank you